Hello, this is Debbie Crawford with the Voices of Kentuckiana, and we're here in Madison, Indiana with a group of guys that actually help out Vietnam veterans or veterans of any war if they have an issue with uh, tree cutting or need groceries or their house fixed up, whatever. And you are? I'm Steve Pike with Pike's Tree Care. And you are? I'm Jason Emery with the Path Home. Now with the Path Homes, what does the Path Homes do for veterans? Uh, it's a Veterans Helping Veterans program where veterans that are having trouble or need it, need something to do and need a new mission, uh -huh. they, uh, they help other veterans and that's that simple. Um, and there's men like Mr. Davidson in every town in America. Right. And it's a ripple effect, you know, like, uh, I don't know, it just gives us a purpose when yes. we come home and we don't have nothing to do, so. Oh, that's awesome. Now with Pike's Tree Care, you guys go out and do this pretty often, don't you? Uh, we try. Whenever the opportunity presents itself, we try to give back. I mean, we feel like it's certainly something that makes this country great, is businesses helping those who have helped us and have served our country. So it's a very important thing that we feel like, uh, you know, really um, is more about who we are than about what we do. Right. Well, so you do this very often? I mean, is it like every day you do this or just when Pathways calls you? Right. When Path, uh, you know, the Path Home would give us oh, a Path call, home. obviously we would be honored to help and we would, uh, you know, try to provide our services as, as, as much of a volunteer or a reduced cost as humanly possible. And uh, obviously my employees feel very honored to be a part of it as well. And, you know, we prep them ahead of time so that they know, hey guys, we're doing this for a veteran. Right. We're doing this for someone who's served our country. Let's make sure the job gets done right. And to make done beautiful and you know make sure folks know kind of what's happening so we're honored to be a part of it you well you everybody was smiling when I got here this morning well, even though it's cold yeah it, it's really cold I think it is it's probably about 15 degrees outside but so. uh, yeah everybody's happy we enjoy what we do on a daily basis right. but something like this just gives it a little bit of extra oomph and gives us an opportunity to give back for sure oh that's great now as far as giving back you guys this is a nonprofit program isn't it absolutely um, They've just finished a house in Anderson, Indiana for a veteran who lost both of his legs in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. uh, Tim Frank Sinkowski. Right. It was a two-year project. Uh, it was a very nice home, and he's very happy. And it was, a, it was an amazing project, and there's all, they, they help hundreds of veterans every year. And it doesn't matter if they just need groceries or if they need their house fixed or if they need, you know, 20 bucks or right. whatever they need. Uh, Bob. Lunenbrink is a, a juggernaut when it comes to helping vets. Now, Bob is the one that started all this, isn't it? Yes, uh, him and another individual. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, that's okay. We don't have to remember both of them's name. But but Bob and another another man ended up creating this group, this nonprofit organization to help veterans. Yes, and they're all volunteers, and they just. Uh, it's amazing. All the funds that come to the Path Care, and that all goes to? 100% of the money that the Path Home raises uh, through corporate entities or through private donations yeah. uh, goes to the vet. You know, uh, the, Everyone that works for the, the Path Home are volunteers. Oh, that's awesome. It, it's a wonder somebody didn't think of this sooner. Well, I think that's one of the beautiful things about this country is just like he said, there's things like this happening behind the scenes every single day in this country. It's probably what makes us great. It's probably what makes us sustainable as a nation. And uh, if everybody plays their own particular small part in it, then I think that all of us benefit in the long run. Oh, I think so too. And I think anytime you can help out somebody, it, it gives you a purpose. Mm -hmm. So, and it, it's good for them too. Absolutely. Now, is there anything we need to make sure people know if they know a veteran that's in need? What can they do? What they can call the Path Home or go to thepathhome.net on the internet. Um, there's a website. And uh, 
Bob's number's on there. Just give him a call, and he'll make it happen All uh, that. as fast as possible. That's and great. I would certainly add that for any corporate entities, for any small businesses like yes. we are, this is a great opportunity to serve. Uh, it's great for employee morale. It's phenomenal for community you know, support and a way to connect with those in your community. So obviously, uh, when we were contacted by the Path Home and as we've had business with them, excellent organization extremely extremely um, above board and ethical and uh, certainly for the average person donations are a wonderful thing um, your money is going directly back into the local communities and uh, it's a huge part I think of why um, like I say these this uh, our communities are so strong so. well yeah if you can't if you can't get out and do it yourself you can always give a donation and that way somebody else can go do it for mm -hmm. so. you know you can be part of the program even though you're not actually doing the work so right. that's really cool okay. well you guys y'all are pretty awesome we'll have to we'll have to visit y'all again sometime <laughs> thank you uh, mr davidson got a hold of the path home through penny johnson at the dav in indianapolis and he'd been trying to get the tree down in his backyard for three and a half years and uh, he was calling all the everyone local and he couldn't get it done so he got a hold of it bob lindenbrink through penny and we came down and got it done and I'm an independent person. And uh, I don't want to go back in the damn nursing home, which they was good to me. But I was laying in bed at night and every time I could hear a storm or the wind blowing, I'd get up and get in my wheelchair and sit in the hallway. And the stress was really getting to me. I called locally a lot of people. No help. I wrote a letter to uh, DEV in Indianapolis. Told her what was going on. I didn't know who was going to answer. And uh, she got old Bob. Bam, bam, bam. I don't know, just a few days. And this trimming outfit out here is the best. They took all the, the trees down in, in a day's time. And last night, the first time, I didn't think about them trees. And I'm just going to continue to march and be independent. <laughs> well, this is Debbie Crawford with the Voices of Kentuckiana, and these are some pretty special voices. Thanks for watching.